Let's ride. Choosing to remain still. Yeah! Yeah! Now here's a sight. I am 
make of this? Look, Councillor Leviticus and Captain Rianne sent me. I need to see Councillor Abor now. And what about my sister? She hasn't been seen since she took the Councillor her meal. Councillor Abor was very clear about this. She doesn't want to be disturbed. Oh, another mercenary. Is our Ivory Brigade so enfeebled that Captain Rianne must resort to hiring sellswords? All right, enough. I can see when I'm being overruled. Very well. Lurius? Oh, something about his sister. She's another servant here at the fort. Works in the... The counselor demanded we protect her. Said her life was in danger, but refused to... Oh, no! Counselor Abor has been murdered! But wait! The Dark Brotherhood's calling card. tore out the pages and took them just when we were so close to finding out more about the ambitions Abor's meal is still warm so what happened to the servant that delivered it we have a door locked from the outside a dead counselor and a missing servant did the assassin take off with both the torn out journal pages and the servant see that rope hanging from the top of the tower bet my bottom acorn that's how the assassin got in and out but the missing servant... Maybe. But everything I've read about the Dark Brotherhood never suggested they would be interested in weapons of war. If that's... So? Will Councillor Abor be returning with you to Leowin? Murdered? Gods, keep your voice down. Do you want to... Let me see that. A black handprint. The sign of the Dark Brotherhood. But where is the servant, Talais? Well, that explains some of it, but not all. We need to locate Talais. What's on your mind? Your sister is fine. This one is certain. Then where could she be? She would never neglect her duties. Probably found a dark corner and someone to snuggle with. This one does that all the time. Pleasant days, visitors. How can... Ah, Talis. She worries her brother so. She asked me where we kept the hot root flakes. Council... All right, grab a broom and start sweeping. What? No. Another new face in the fort? First Councillor Abor, now you and that cute wood elf. She took the Councillor her meal and hasn't returned. 
Did you check the watchtower? Abor's a little old, but maybe Talay's decided to improve her station. If you can. Well, she's been acting like a frightened guar since she arrived. Stays locked. The servants come to the kitchen to mutter and gossip. This one will not have it. That young woman, she has not returned from the watchtower, so her chores remain undone. The pantry is in the cellar, but the door is around the side of the building. Before we check the pantry, let So, what did we learn? Councillor Abor was frightened, but that's understandable. It couldn't hurt. And every mystery novel I ever read taught me you should always follow up on every clue. Even though... Brotherhood murder. Oh no. Is there something I can do? All right. I think I figured it out. The assassin followed Talay's down here, murdered her, and took her place so they could gain access to the watchtower. Pretty clever. But they didn't have to kill her. Right. <laughs> Very funny. Wait, you're serious? If you're part of this, if you've been trying to save your murdering friends... Ah! All right, we're going back to Leowin. You can walk... Yeah, I've read that somewhere. But what about the calling cards? The Black Hand is definitely making a statement. Trying too hard to convince us that the Dark Brotherhood is behind the murders. Right. Report to Commander Orton on your way out. Tell him what happened. Then go check on Counselors Valeria and Vandasia. I need to return to Leowin and consult with Leviticus. But this, between you and I, it isn't over. Remember that. After your report to the Commander, make contact with Counselors Valeria and Vandasia. Valeria went to Tidewater Cave to get her records, and Vandasia works in the Gideon Courthouse. Cracked acorns! I suddenly had the weirdest feeling come over me. Yes. No, I don't know. We were talking about the counselors. Valer Remember I told you about that strange book I found? The one with the Daedric writing that I can't read? I've been having bad dreams since I found it. It was just a flash, but it was accompanied by a feeling. I, it was one of the waking flame cultists, I think. Someone... All right. You talked to the fort servants and rummaged around in our pantry. What's the verdict? That's... Oh, that's horrible. Are you sure? No. Of course you're sure. No one would lie about it.
something wonderful about wandering a city's streets with no destination. in the streets of our fair city, Keshu. I demand you deal with the criminal post-haste. Your guards did their job, Counselor Vandasia. The prisoner is secure. And what's this? More assassins? Explain yourself immediately. One attempt on my life today is more than enough. If you're another one of those Dark Brotherhood bastards, I assure you, you won't find either myself or Governor Keshu to be easy prey. Warn me? As always, Leviticus offers too little and too late. I received the letter, same as the other counselors. My personal guard took the threat seriously, and we captured the assassin in the act. But what of my esteemed colleagues? Dead. All three of them. This is unimaginable. Feral Lupus's letter suggested the Longhouse Emperor's left behind a secret that would prove to be a threat. But I thought he was just being melodramatic. Poor ambitions. Never heard of them. How could something I know nothing about make me a target of the Dark Brotherhood? The Governor Keshu locked the prisoner in the holding cell in the courthouse basement. Question the villain and find out why the Dark Brotherhood is trying to wipe out anyone who was part of the Imperial Elder Council. I'll head I wish there was something I could tell you. The cell door is open. What happened here? Poured something on the lock. Some sort Hit of acid me. ate right and through escaped. the lock. Look, there's more of it on the floor. Let's hit the trail. They ran that way, toward the old ruins. attacked this legionnaire and ran into the ruins of the old city. Well met, brother. If I had realized you were in the area, I would have suggested we meet for a meal at the Egg and Hammer. The chef makes a superb fungus omelette. Well, aren't you a fast reader? Look, if you're here about Councillor Vandasia's accusations, you have to know they aren't true. <laughs> Evidence. I told the speaker those calling cards would get us into trouble. It's not like we signed them or anything. Anyone can dip their palm in black ink and make a handprint. Hmm, good question. As soon as you figure it out, let me know. 
I definitely want to have a chat with them myself. If you come to any conclusions, do let me know. Ta-ta. I love cities. The rude people, the noise, the chaos. Is it strange that I find it comfortable? <sighs> Again? Mercenary from Leowin has returned. Tell me, were you able to capture the assassin? Or allow me to peruse the document, if you will. <laughs> what did you expect? Such lies fall from his lips like rain from the sky on a stormy day. What? Oh, my personal guard are nearby, and these legionnaires are sufficient. You need not be concerned. That was easy. Mercenary. A few moments later, and you would have found an empty cave. Your timing really is impeccable. We've already packed up my records, and we're about to head out. All three of them? That's disheartening news. Oh, just a lifetime of public service and bureaucracy. That's good to hear. Emperor Leovic loved to hide things in coded documents. <sighs> Perfect. I look forward to conferring with the remaining members of the Elder Council. These Brigadines will make sure I get to the city safely.
Dark Brotherhood. They must be driven out of Blackwood. I still can't figure out why they would be targeting us, Vandasia. Eliminate the threat first. Then we can seek answers. All of the remaining counselors in Blackwood are gathered here in the castle. Valeri yes. I remember reports of their presence early in Morikar's reign, but they were driven out. Vandasia, Faleri, and I were just discussing that. We think Leovic had each of the counselors unknowingly working on a different aspect of the Ambitions project. That's our prevailing theory. If the counselors ever came together to compare notes, the truth of the Ambitions would be revealed. Indeed. Hmm, very curious. Still, I'm hesitant to take the word of an admitted killer at face value. Jirix and Sophos' documents contain information written in Imperial Code. I sent for the scribe, Baragon, but he has yet to arrive. Until then, the counselors will remain safe within these walls. Whatever the truth behind the murders of my fellow counselors, we can't allow the Dark Brotherhood to gain a foothold in Blackwood. Until we know more, I'm not prepared to engage in an all-out war with the Dark Brotherhood. You heard Leviticus. Time to get back to work. While the counselors remain here and wait for the scribe to show up, we need to determine what your Dark Brotherhood friends are actually up to. Yeah, these are definitely orders. It mentions Blood Run Cave. That's northeast of Leowin, toward the edge of Blackwood territory. Of course it does. Nothing has been easy since I found that strange book and started chasing down Leovic's secret. Meet me at Blood Run Cave. Despite your assurances, we need to determine beyond a shadow of a doubt whether the Dark Brotherhood is behind the murders or not. I'm still not sure I can trust you. You're an assassin, and you only just told me! All right, but why keep it a secret from me? We were trying to prevent the counselors from being murdered, but four people had to die before you decided to mention your connection to the murderers! Oh, yeah, we did, didn't we? All right, your secret's safe with me. But Remember back at Fort Blue Blood when we found the murdered servant? What else could it be? It's written in an unknown language. Probably. 